Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Planet Coaster, which puts you in charge of creating your own theme park. So in this series that I'm starting, I'm going to be creating an indoor theme park. I've already created the main building, um, but in this episode I'm going to be working on a little entrance area, uh, well, just an entrance building, and then I'm also going to be putting it in a launch coaster. Uh, now this launch coaster doesn't end up being anything too big, um, I want it to be kind of a, a budget coaster, nothing that would, that nothing that the park would, you know, realistically be able to, um, to afford in terms of the scale of it. So I, I want it to be quite basic, um, I think it ends up having like one loop. Um, so here I'm putting in the pathway. Lead, leading up to the entrance um, and now I'm actually going to start building the entrance building uh, it ends up being like this wooden this wooden building with two spires um, a few windows and doors because um, once I've done that I move on to the launch coaster uh, which is the main part of this video so I'm gonna let you watch the over the next few minutes um, as I finish this entrance building and move on to the coaster. Okay, so over the past few minutes you've just seen me uh, finish the entrance building. Now I'm going to move on to creating the actual coaster. Uh, it ends up being a torque launch coaster model, which in real life I think it's a like Premier Rides Skyrocket model. I'm not sure. Um, but I, I know you can create those models in-game with this, with this launch coaster. Uh, so I'm I'm looking for an appropriate one, but I, I find that one, and I just I felt like it would fit. Um, and what ends up happening is it launches out the side of the building, does a few turns, one loop, um, an overbank turn, and a launch outside, and then it comes back in, loops back around to the station, and then in the next episode I'm going to be theming this up, uh, adding more of a landscape around it. Um, and not just with the coaster, but also with the entrance area. I think next episode I'm going to do a little plaza with a few buildings and shops just to kind of let everyone know, you know, this is the entrance. Um, so I put these launches in at like a one degree angle because I'm trying to be realistic. Um, I know that a lot of launch coasters, the launches actually go slightly upwards. Like, you, you can barely notice it, but... Um, for example, stealth at Fort Park. When you're in the station, you can see that you can see the track does actually go up, um, and so does obviously the the trains when they go. 
Um, one thing I love about this game is that you can smooth out every single coaster you build, so you're not going to have these massive, ugly pieces of track that look really out of place, because everything can be smoothed. One thing I don't like about the coaster builder though is the supports. Sometimes they can be absolutely crazy. They can be in the most crazy positions. Um, but I, I was lucky with this one. The supports looked okay, they looked realistic, but when it comes to things like creating large, tall coasters, the supports end up looking hilarious, you know, hilariously bad. Um, I can't remember the top speed for this coaster. I don't, I don't think it's that fast. Um, but halfway through it does stop, then launch you backwards, then launch you forwards again into a loop, and then into the brake run. Uh, it's not that long of a ride, but with the launch in the middle, it, it does make up for the time a bit. So, um, I'm just watching the coaster test right now. I always test the coasters while I'm building them, just to see the speed, you know. You don't want to finish a massive coaster that you've spent hours on, and then realise it doesn't even make it round the full circuit. So, I was checking that as I was going round. Um, and here I'm trying to figure out a way of actually how to do this coaster because I could not for the life of me figure out a way of of getting this coaster back round to the station um, with a good layout. So I'm fiddling round here um, until I find a good layout. So I'll let you guys watch how I figure this one out because um, it does take me a bit of a while but it's all time lapsed um, and I'll come back to you in a bit when I'm adding in the second launch. I start to add in the second launch. Uh, so the train, when it passes over these um, these fins on the track, it's going to slow down. Then when it gets to the end, it's going to be slowly moved backwards, slightly up the hill. And when it gets up there, it's going to fall back down and then launch straight off um, into a loop. After that, it's going to go into the brake run, back into the building and into the station. Now, like I said at the start of the video, this coaster isn't going to be anything special, but uh, it's going to be a crowd pleaser, you know, everyone's going to, in real life, everyone will be like, ah, oh, it has a launch, you know, let's go on it. Um, so I add in this second launch, um, then the loop, then the brake run, and then the coaster's done. So yeah, it's, um, it's, it's not going to be the longest coaster either, but like I said, it's going to please the crowd who 
in real life, um, if this park was real, who would actually be coming into this park. Um, so yeah, it's a nice first attraction to add into the park. then so now I'm gonna start putting in the uh, kind of ex entrance and exit for the coaster into the building uh, obviously we don't want to go in through the walls so um, I'm just gonna put in some low walls underneath and I don't know whether I put anything above the coaster I think I do I think I put like a two meter wall there um, so I don't want I don't want a massive gap like I, I still want to keep the inside area quite enclosed so we do that uh, by the brake run here and then I do it by where it launches out of the side of the building as well so I'm just adding those in there now um, once I've done this I'm gonna do an on-ride uh, video of, of the coaster after this and then that is pretty much the end of the video so I'm just checking the, checking the station here editing anything that I need and then I realise here actually it goes through the brake run way too fast because I, I didn't set the um, the friction high enough for the brakes so I, I, re I reworked that and now it should be working all properly and then I re-edit the building w with a quick ride of it here obviously I'll do a proper one at the end of the video but a quick ride through of it here And then we move into creating the, the the launch, the launch hole where it launches through. And I end up putting some rocks around there, so I, I want I want it to be themed um, like that. I'm gonna in the next episode when I work on the station, I'm gonna have a lot of rock work around the station with some fountains, um, and it, it's gonna look nice. So here I start to put in the low walls and kind of the, the rocks around where it launches at the side of the building. This didn't take long, it was just a little thing I wanted to do because um, I don't I don't want just gaps in the building, you know, it's gotta, it's gotta blend in well enough. So I add in the rocks there. 
you can just see the coaster launching through just then. Um, yeah, the rotation system in this game as well. Well, the building system in general is really is really sophisticated. Sometimes I find it really easy to use, but other times I find myself literally not knowing how to do it properly. So yeah, we've come to the end of the video, guys. Um, and now I'm going to show you an on-ride POV of the ride in action. Um, and that is the end of the video. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, like and subscribe to help the channel grow further. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, it won't be... It won't be fully Planet Coaster, I think it might be maybe another Secret Neighbor video, but I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys, goodbye.